Welcome back everybody to another exciting episode of Space Engineers. Today we have a very special ship that I am going to showcase today. This comes straight from the Tronk community from an author known as Reload. This ship blew my mind away. The intricacy, the level of detail, the color scheme, the practicality of the ship, it's just amazing. So let me give you a quick overview of the ship. The Koizis CVES are frigate-sized light carriers designed to protect and escort resource acquisition operations. This includes mining and salvaging. Koizis are fast for their class, allowing them to respond quickly to threats or to give encouragement to stubborn and underperforming workers. Koizis escort carriers are usually assigned a squadron of three ferric snub fighters, allowing the carrier to operate in a large area of effect. Koizis CVES are capable of being completely independent due to them having a full refinery and assembler system. Most Koizisists will find themselves with battered armor plating due to the nature of their assignments. I apologize, my breeding skills are pretty brutal, but uh, there were many takes for that, so uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just take a look at this ship, and wow, what a stunning ship this is. Check that out. Now, as the description explains, you usually see this coisist class frigate uh, with battered armor, and man, he has done a great job of using different color ca color patterns and different like armor colors. Like you've got the, I think it's the battered armor. Or he's got the battered armor for. He's got uh, armor pat patterns with like actual destruction in it but some of them just like the normal armor and then some plates where you would kind of expect like heavy armor uh this uh battered armor look to it i don't know if i'm using those terms correctly but i also love the existence of these highlights it's a predominantly gray ship but we got this darker gray to kind of you know accentuate these thruster areas and like raised sections there's a lot of raised sections. There's a lot of like bump outs and jet outs and a lot of greeblies. The amount of greeblies on this ship. Oh, greebly design, 10 out of 10. We also have hints of a little bit of red and yellow. I like this because the yellow kind of rep represents like, um, like mechanical or like a purposeful system. Whereas the red, I think is the color of the ship. So I do very much enjoy that. Taking a look at the top of the ship, you'll notice that we have this very sleek fin going across the back and that might I add is very appealing I love the attention to detail although you may not be in this recessed area or the shadow of the Sun may be casting you can't see it but just adding all these little bits of detail all throughout the ship like just take a look at these engine bays like absolutely amazing to get these round shapes, to make these engines look like they're built specifically to house both this ion and hydrogen thruster, it just looks so seamless. Like I have never seen a build so well thought out. We've got these large thrusters off the side and even these atmospheric thrusters, just it all works together so well. Let me take a look at it, at it in the sun. Like everything melts together perfectly fine. Like from the top, it totally looks like just any normal spacefaring ship. And then from the bottom, it's like perfectly designed for atmospheric assault or any missions that you would have to do on a planet. As you can see, we even have an exterior catwalk. Just like, it's so beautiful. Obviously this makes more sense for like um, a utility ship as it is said in the description. So having these outside catwalks to get out of the ship makes perfect sense. And that actually goes directly into the airlock, which will open up to this hangar bay. Now let's take a look on the inside of the ship. So coming back to the main kind of entrance area, like this uh, central point, we'll go back and we'll see these doors. We have a med bay over off to the side here. We've got all of our necessary components. Looks great in there. We'll take a look on this side. It looks like we've got just a cryo station, some nice, uh, nice aquarium, a nice little uh, plantation area. Makes it feel very nice and homey. I like it. 
So we'll come farther to the back. And if we come back here and close that up. Coming aside here, it looks like we've got kind of like a part storage area. If we open this over here, we have, I think this is just, this must be like the captain's seat or quarters or something, you know, like a private quarters for someone specific. It's kind of tucked away in the hall more, which is kind of nice, very protected. Then coming out to the back, we'll close that up. <laughs> Perfect. It says it lets us know that there's no atmosphere beyond this point. So it's marked with those nice yellow doors. So we'll go ahead and take a look, go through this airlock. Oh, beautiful. And we have this nice duct work just to get back in here. So I like this design because it's not meant to be like fully accessed. It's obviously not like a, a centralized corridor or anything. But if you need to get here to fix any of the gyroscopes, everything is accessible. You can crawl throughout the ship. You can come down here, access more. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just a great design in a ship. So it's actually the exact same on the other side, so I won't bother showing that. So if we go down these staircases, we can come to here, which is fully oxygenized. We have the reactor and I love this setup. I love everything about this now. That's awesome. But this is also, I guess, where the automated turrets computer systems would be, which I like. It's tucked away. It's very safe inside the ship kind of nice we could actually control the ship from back here i don't know if that's purposeful but uh that would be nice to have and nice to know that you could still control the ship from back here now coming out of that room we'll head on down to the bottom which is i guess the hangar bay so let's just take a look at that so entering into the oh man i love the addition of all these little signs and everything it just it, it makes this ship so immersive Makes you feel like this is like a, a legit ship. It kind of feels like I'm playing Star Citizen. That's the level of detail in this ship. I love everything that you have added in this Rulo. It's beautiful. So coming into this hangar bay, you'll notice that we have three, as it said in the description, it is accompanied by three fighters, either for scouts, salvaging, or maybe you could have attack fighters. I mean, it's it's a pretty large hangar bay. I. I'm getting a lot of great ideas from this and I'm offended because I have never thought of anything this amazing before. But just take a look. It's a pretty simple hangar bay, but just the idea of having this bright colored pipework down the middle and these angled blocks here. We have um, any little divot. We have Greeblies on the inside of the ship. This is above and beyond all expectations of using Greeblies with a ship. Like, look at here, look at that. Pipeworks that don't actually hook up to anything, but it just looks so good. It works so well with this ship. You've really done an outstanding job. It's amazing. Coexist Escort Frigate. It is such a beautiful ship. I cannot explain how amazed I am at the work that you have done, Reload. This is great. I wanna see more builds like this. Um, yeah, it's just it's beautiful if you want to download this ship it's in the description down below um i got this ship i got the idea to review it from the discord so if you want to join the discord and see more awesome builds like this go ahead check it out it's in the description below you might see something there that someone posts and you may want to check it out so go ahead go to the discord base ship review i give this ship a nine point seven out of ten <laughs> what was missing what was the 0 0.3 percent i'm just kidding it's a 10, a 10 it's a 10 out of 10 it's a great ship i there's nothing i don't like about the ship i look at this ship if anything i'm just angry that i couldn't come up with something this beautiful it is amazing anyways that's all i have time for today thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already spread the world with the spread the word of your lord chonkers and i'll see you in the next now as always stay thick stay chonk stay beautiful chonkers out <laughs>